So hello everyone, uh, my name is Cheryl McGeekin and I am a Senior Lecturer in Human Geography and the Head of the Geography Degree Programme here at Glasgow. My research interests encompass the geographies of mental ill health, violence and conflict and social and ecological injustice. So being a geographer has really allowed me to engage um, uh, with communities and engage with world building practice. In my research and my teaching, I have worked alongside and collaborated with um, museum curators, archivists, activists, and really allowed me to work in a range of different spaces, um, from psychiatric hospitals to prisons, and really allowed me to become um, a really engaged citizen of the world. Hi everybody, my name is Dr Adrian Bath and I'm a senior lecturer in Geographical and Earth Sciences and I convened the first year of the Geography degree. Now my background is actually not in Geography but in Biogeochemistry and that's my primary air research area now. Uh, specifically I'm a carbon cycle researcher so I focus on how environmental stocks and fluxes of carbon change with space and time. My research and teaching have significant spatial components and I think one of the key things that you'll learn through this degree as well as in many others, is that nearly everything has a geographical or a geospatial dimension to it. Because of this, it's actually provided me with a host of amazing opportunities to conduct research around the world. And this includes the African savannas, the tropical rainforests, the Arctic permafrost, and even the Antarctic coast. The opportunities that can become available after training in the field are almost unlimited, and it's one of the key reasons that I can't recommend this path more highly. An incredible subject to study because it connects you to the world in a range of diverse different ways and introduces you to sets of earthly relationships between humans and non-humans. The diversity of the subject is a real appeal from rivers to migration, from war to oceans. What you get to study within geography encompasses so many different um, dimensions and takes you through the humanities, the social sciences, right way through to the natural sciences um, as well. So geography is a really social subject, which means it requires you to be actively engaged with others, whether that be working alongside other students and projects or lab classes, being connected to different kinds of communities, both locally and across the globe, but also engaged in aspects of politics and place. It really requires you to be a very active um, and engaged learner, um, which holds a great appeal for many of our students studying geography. Now from the feedback that we get from our student body, we know that they get an awful lot of positives out of the course. And this ranges from the variety of the topics that are covered. And this includes a wide range of subjects from human geography and social sciences, but all the way to the more physical sciences, including geomorphology and biogeochemistry. Now critically, it's the connections that they get, that they understand between this varied content and the realization that very few of these topics can be considered in isolation. We live in an integrated, dynamic world, and it's through this geographical understanding that we can make sense of these interactions. They also say that they appreciate the varied approach that we take to assessment and skill development. So it's not just exams, it's also things like essays and presentations, and kind of ongoing formative exercises like group work and tutorials. They also get an awful lot from the field work and the group work that we do. They get practical experience, but also they get the chance to develop skills in collaborative working, in project planning, data collection, data processing, and presentation. So I always recommend geography as a second or third subject to any student because geography can really enhance any other subject that you're taking at university and can really help you to develop a diverse set of skills that maybe you won't get in some of your other subjects. It really adds to your CV and your graduate attributes, even if you only take um, geography for one or two years um, to enhance the other subjects that you're doing in your degree. Also, I think geography really helps us us to care more deeply um, about the world and I think in our very current um, tight worldly times it's really important to allow students the possibility um, to be passionate and to care about the subjects that they're studying and again even if you're only doing it for a year or two or an entire degree I think it's absolutely worth studying geography for that reason alone.